Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to install and configure Squid Proxy Server on Ubuntu. Squid is a Linux based proxy application. Using this proxy server, you can filter traffic and you can also use for security and DNS lookups. The Squid Proxy Server can speed up your web server by catching the resources. It allows the server to catch frequently visited web pages. So when a user requests a web page or a file, the request goes directly to the proxy server. So it acts as an intermediate between the user device and the internet. So the proxy server pulls up the resources and send them to the user. Now we can see how to install and configure the script proxy server. First we can run the apt-get update command. After running the apt-get update command, we can install the script proxy server using the command apt-get install squid and give us to download and install the packages now the squid proxy server is successfully installed now we can configure the squid proxy server now open the squid configuration file slash etc squid squid.conf now search for the http port option and here you can see the squid normally listens to port 3128 if you want to change the listening port of squid, you can change here. I'm going to keep it as default. Next, we can modify the HTTP underscore access configuration. Now here, you need to change it. By default, it is it will deny all the requests. So we can allow the access here. And now we can save the file and exit. Now restart the squid proxy server. Now the proxy server is restarted. Now we can see how to add the squid ACL rules to block websites on your client machines. So first we can create a file in which we can add the website to block. I'm going to add it in etc squid block sites dot ACL. I'm going to block Facebook dot com and instagram dot com now save the file and exit now we can add our racial rules in etc squid squid dot com file here you can see the node you can insert your own rules here to allow access from your client so i'm going to add the acl rules here acl and give name for the ACL and your source IP is your that is your client IP which are going to block access 1.11 and ACL this is the destination domain it is the file that you have created to block access for the site name as dd triple one and destination domain and you need to mention the file name here in which you added the website to block the file name is ctc squid blocked sites dot acl now you need to add the http underscore access first we can deny the sites that you are going to block you can use the deny option to block the sites for this client so at net triple one and dd triple one then allow access to this client machine now we can save this file and exit now restart the squid proxy server now the squid proxy server is restarted now we can check the configuration the client machine now i'm going to change the internet option for the browser you can select the network settings and you can add the manual proxy configuration i'm going to enter the ip address of the proxy server and you can mention the port 3128 you need to take this use it for https and ftp 
and click OK. Now we can try the blocked site Facebook. Now we can see the message the proxy server is refusing connection. Now we can try google.com. Now we can see the other website is working fine. We can try instagram.com. Now we can see the message the proxy server is refusing connection for Instagram and Facebook. And we can see the other sites can be loaded. Now we can see we have uh, access to the other sites and the site we mentioned in the in the blog website dot acl the site is getting blocked so using this method you can you can block access for the website for your client using this proxy server in this video we saw how to install and configure squid proxy server on ubuntu you can see more about the squid proxy server concepts in the coming videos thanks for watching this video Post your comments and suggestions. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos. You can follow me on this Instagram ID and Facebook page. For any queries, you can reach me on this Skype ID.